good afternoon children this is hanuman sir here in the previous class we were discussing about uh, arithmetic progression uh, and its uh, types and uh, how to find nth term of an arithmetic progression and uh, uh, sum of nth terms and their different forms right so in this session i am going to take you uh, on the new topic that is a triangle so in uh, in your earlier classes you already heard about the triangles right yes you have uh know how to uh, define uh, triangles what are the types of triangles what are the elements of triangles so, so classification based on their sides and uh, angles uh, and uh, some of uh, its properties and all right yes so we know that uh, triangle is a closed plane figure which is bounded by three line segment uh, so a triangle has two three vertices three angles and uh, three sides right so sum of all interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree and uh, the sum of all exterior angles of a triangle is 360 degree so classification based on their sides uh, so triangle can be classified into three groups so one is the first category is uh, equilateral and the second uh, isosceles and third one scalene triangle right so equilateral triangle means so in a triangle all the sides all the three sides are equal then then it is uh, uh, called uh, equilateral triangle in an equilateral triangle each angle is must and should be equals to 60 degree and uh, isosceles triangle uh, in any triangle in uh, any triangle uh, if two sides are equal uh, then it is uh, isosceles triangle and uh, and in other words uh, in all the in triangle all the sides are uh, unequal then the triangle is called a scalene triangle right so if two sides are equal then it is isosceles if all the sides are unequal then it is called a scalene triangle in uh, all the three sides are equal then it is uh, known as a equilateral triangle right so this is a uh, uh, for classification based on their uh, sides right and then classification based on their angles so, so triangle can be classified into three categories so first one acute angle triangle second one obtuse angle triangle and uh, uh, right angle triangle so we know that right angle triangle is a uh, a closed plane figure which is bounded by in any one of the angle must be equals to 90 degree right a triangle which measures an angle of 90 degree or right angle then it is called right angle triangle uh, in any triangle the angles lies uh, all the angles lies between uh, 0 to below 90 degree then it is a acute angle triangle then more than uh, in other words uh, then more than uh, 90 degree then it is a uh, obtuse angle triangle right so i want to conclude my words uh, about uh, classification of their sides and uh, uh, angles so, so classification based on their sides uh, so the types of a triangle can be uh, classified as uh, three groups one is equilateral isosceles and uh, scalene and classification based on their angles so, so the first angle is acute angle triangle and second angle is right angle triangle and uh, the third uh, type is obtuse angle triangle so that is our uh, basic uh, basic uh, properties of uh, triangles and types and elements of triangle so in this session we have different types of theorems based on their uh, triangles right so in 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 the 10th standard so we have five major theorems are there so first one is pythagoras theorem second one is basic proportionality theorem and third one angle angle similarity criteria and then fourth one is areas of similar triangles right so have you heard the word similar and congruent what are the differences between similar and uh, congruent yes so congruent means uh, the figures having same shape uh, but uh, same size right uh, so congruent is nothing but uh, the figures having same shape uh, and same size uh, is known as congruent triangles 
if uh, the figures having uh, same shape but different in size uh, then it is similar figures so do you know the difference between congruent figures and similar figures yes so congruent figures having same shape and same size but similar figures having same shape uh, but different in size so is it clear to all children yes so next uh, we have a sub topic that is similar triangle so so similar similar is nothing but uh, if two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are equal right so this is uh, uh, known as a similar triangles under similar triangles uh, so similar tri triangles that uh, you know uh, the definition the, the definition of similar triangles can be uh, defined as if two triangles are said to be similar if two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are in proportion that is known as a similar triangle so and uh, so triangle base is uh, uh, triangle based on the theorem so that that is the fundamental theorem uh, is known as basic proportionality theorem or bpt theorem or tails theorem right a straight line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle then it divides into other two sides proportionally in the given figure a b c d e parallel to b c then the triangle a b c here d e parallel to b c then a d by b d is equals to a e by e c then it is a basic proportionality theorem so we have another session how to solve how to uh, uh, prove the given star, given theorem right so so i need to conclude uh, the words about similar uh, triangles and uh, basic proportionality theorem so similar triangles are said to be if their correspond is uh, the similar tri the triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional and and we have basic proportionality theorem so basic proportionality theorem states that if a straight line is drawn parallel to side of a triangle then it divides into other two sides are uh, proportionally and their corollaries and uh, next we have angle angle similarity criteria so in that uh, if in two triangles if corresponding angles are equal then they are similar so it carries to five mark again it is uh, there is a uh, proof how to do the construction uh, graph draw diagram data and we have some similar steps so it is also very very important for your examination point of view so and then s a s in two triangles one angle is equals to the the sides included the angles are proportional then they are similar so this is triple s uh, theorem so that is uh, if two triangles corresponding sides are in proportional then they are similar and they are converse right so next we have pythagoras theorem see pythagoras theorem is it is there in the ninth standard also so it is very very important for your examination point of view so similar triangle sorry pythagoras theorem so pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares on the other two sides so, so in the given a triangle a b c angle b contains 90 degree so according to pythagoras theorem states that so this is ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square and their converse so it carries five marks for your examination point of view so you have to uh, practice more and more on this theorem okay so next uh, i want to start a uh, uh, how to uh, prove the given basic proportionality theorem right yes shall we go for the theorem yes okay